hi everyone this is a quick video about updating your BIOS first we need a USB drive because usually a USB drive is required for most motherboards for us to download the BIOS from the website where our motherboard product is just make sure that when you download you download the BIOS file from the legit website of your mod motherboard. Make sure that you have the right model, the exact model of your motherboard and the BIOS uh, program that you're going to download. Then save it to your USB drive and then follow the instructions on how to um, install your BIOS. Usually, there are some programs like here with Asus. You download the file and then there are, there are actually two files inside the folder. The first file will ask you to click on it and then you can rename. Meaning, you have to prepare the actual BIOS file to be read in the BIOS mode. Alright. Assuming that you already have it, if you have done those um, download to your USB um, and then you've already prepared your BIOS, now you go inside uh, your BIOS setup, which is you, when you normally restart or boot your PC, you have to press either delete or F, F2 or F12 in some uh, motherboard. But you, if you're not sure, you check first in your motherboard um, booklet okay for you to check how you can actually enter to the bios usually bios by default doesn't have a password but for some you know they for some security um, preference they put their um, password to it all right now we go directly to tools usually you can see like a flash utility uh, in your motherboard uh, bios setup you go there tap that and then you have to look for your USB drive that you have plugged in my case here I plugged a 32 gigabyte um, USB with a file in it so this is how it looks like as you can see here the highlighted um, file here in in gold or amber color as what I mentioned earlier, this should be the same model as what your current version is. Otherwise, you might get a corrupted file and it can break your motherboard and you cannot open your computer already after that. You know, you might need a hard reset uh, for the motherboard or chances are you can't boot your motherboard at all after. And one more tip though, when you're updating your BIOS you have to make sure that you have a stable power connection it means at least you know it's not a stormy day when you're trying to update your BIOS or you at least have a, a UPS you know your system is attached to or plugged to a UPS an interrupted uh, power supply you know just to make sure that you know during the BIOS update you will not get interrupted all of a sudden by like power fluctuations or power interruptions in your area because once it's it got interrupted chances are um, it, go, it can ruin the BIOS setup in your system and it can corrupt the, the startup file or firmware of your motherboard and it will chances are it will not boot up again right just to make sure before doing this all right now you can see here that we have the same model okay and we have here the this is my downloaded um, version i just downloaded this earlier so you can see the date all right this is the existing uh, version of the BIOS that I have which was last May you can see it and now you can just click on it 
you know if your mouse is active uh, during the setup otherwise you can use your keyboard and click enter or click your mouse there that's why it's uh, giving you notice you know that to back up the bitlocker recovery in my case it's actually an automatic okay so in most cases you don't need to back this up just to make sure you might you know depending on your setup you might need to do so okay and then when you're when you're confident in doing that with all those checks that you have already done then you click yes first it needs to read your flash you know to check if the file you know uh, that you're reading is an actual bios file and then it will give you a confirmation uh, message on what it read from your file from your uh, usb drive or flash drive then you can check again as you can see here the current model that i have and the uh, uh, the version is tof gaming z690 plus wi-fi d4 version 3602 you see and the version date is May 24, 2024. Updates are usually higher. As you can see here on version 3602, the one that's been read from the BIOS, oh, um, from the USB that I have for the downloaded uh, BIOS file, is actually version version 3701, which is because obviously this is the more updated one. And the update uh, date is actually june 28 2024 which is most recent it will you can see it anyway in the in the website where your bias um is before you download you can see the most uh, recent one All right if it's the same you don't need to do it if it's the same uh, bias file and the bias version you don't have to do it not unless um you, you did something in your system and you feel like uh it corrupted uh, something in your file and you can't uh, somehow reverse it already so yeah you can you can also do that to refresh the firmware or sorry or the bias of your motherboard okay by doing so we can now just click yes and it will start now it's reading it's doing the processing already and updating your bios this will take a couple of minutes i'm just uh, letting it go real time so you can actually see and experience how is it uh, how how long will it take you know for a bias to actually update and it's very important to actually plug your your uh, PC, your gaming PC, your computer. You know when you do update your BIOS in a stable power supply. Uh, you know um, your UPS, just to make sure because around this time this is very critical. This is the time when the system is all is actually down except for your BIOS for your motherboard and this is where the program starts up you know every time you boot up or restart the system so just to make sure that no files will be um, loaded or corrupted into your bios during the uh, bios update process you have to make sure that your power is stable it's now in its update area 3 continuing its process now my mouse is not moving anymore since the update it's already uh, removed its primary or initial um, default firmware update area 5 now it's just completely the motherboard that's you know doing its, its thing so 
biopsy at this long period of time, it's very critical for this process not to get interrupted. Now we are. It already tells us that it's updated successfully, so it will. It just rebooted. Now, let's wait for it, and then the system will just do its process. You know, while the screen is actually blacked out. You can you know check and look inside your PC around this time. You can actually see it that lights are you know if you have LEDs there, things are turning on and off. Yeah, now we're successfully rebooted. As you can see, the revision, the bias revision is now at 3701. So we have successfully updated that bias, our bias around this time. Usually it goes to a fail uh, safe mode by default. So it says here before making any adjustments in the BIOS, please press F5 to load the factory default settings to ensure smooth operation. You know, if setting up Intel RAID configure VMD options, if you have the RAID system, you know, um, in your hard drives, to according to the interface type for better compatibility because chances are if you don't put it back back things can you know uh, not load you know, into your windows so we'll just have to uh, be careful in that but normally on a normal uh, setup Intel RAID is actually off by default and you're just using a single drive to boot up your system and now the last part is you can now press F1 you know to enter the actual BIOS setup this is the safest uh, uh, presetting that you can actually do. I will press F1. This should go to the menu. There you go. Normally, you can see the uh, the basic, you know, with more graphics and stuff. Right? But for us, we can just actually quickly go to advanced mode if we want to. But to some, you can actually just turn it here. But here's the tip though, if you're not really familiar with, with all of the things that you can see here, you can read here, it's best for you to go to advanced mode and then go to the load optimized defaults here under exit, click that, and then to reset the BIOS to this factory. Okay. There you go and then go to check the uh, the XMP normally it goes back to its uh, uh, factory uh, JDEC all right you go to AI overclock tuner and then click XMP1 for Intel there now you can see that the correct uh, marketed speed of your RAM is already appearing yes just below this uh, XMP1 setup yeah checking everything as you can see it's 3600 By default, you're already good. You just have to click exit when you're done, save changes and reset. Or if you have your um, settings already set up for initially, then you can now manually set all these. There are some options though if you really want to to have your profile reloaded. There are options here that says user profile here so you can copy your previous setting and then you can load it after I'll create another video uh, for this uh, profile uh, naming so that if you want an advanced um, video profile you can actually refer to here
all right now we save uh, changes and reset and that's it everyone thank you so much um, have a good day